Today, I want to get into V apparently being disrespected by his label and what happened. We need to talk about BTS's new song coming out and people thinking they saw V on set. And then we have EXO members suing. So hey dumplings, this is Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, taste spilling mug merch, and let's go. We need to get into something that is a big deal within K-pop and something that hopefully will change the industry as a whole. You might have heard about slave contracts and with K-pop idols, this is a term that people throw around a lot and might have lost their meaning. Because when you throw around the term for contracts coming from companies that are not doing slave contracts, it just makes it look like the majority of idols don't want to work anymore or that the new generation of K-pop is lazy, which is not true. Think of a slave contract like someone you borrowed money from and they urgently need that money back now and so now you're working 80 to 100 hours a week to pay them back. When people join a label and most K-pop idols will follow this, you are accruing debt, the cost of the studio, the teachers, the entire program. If you end up opting out of the program, I do believe for most cases you do owe that money back. And if you actually end up debuting, you also owe that money back. There's been contracts that literally state that idols will be paid pennies before they pay back what is owed to the label. Many idols who debut don't really see success, let alone money, before a couple years. And within those years, the labels are pushing the idols on TV, doing performances, and working a lot. Thankfully, a lot of the living costs are covered so they don't have to worry about eating or sleeping. But in terms of spending money, the, the idols don't have any. In the recent case of EXO, Baekhyun, Chen, and Shu Min, they apparently decided to sue SM Entertainment over their contract. Allegedly, there was unfair wages and it was a slave contract. It was believed that their contract spanned 10 years. Back in 2010, it was believed that the Korean Federal Trade Commission, or government entity, said that contracts cannot span more than seven years. Seven years is still too long. A lot of American labels will do it in a span of albums. So after like five albums, they can go. But I can see why these labels might choose to do 10 years because they have no idea if the idol will even be successful and will they make their money back. Well, in 10 years, it's almost guaranteed that they'll make something. Since it was believed the members signed on to SM in 2011 after the 2010 FTC thing, the contract should have never exceeded 10 years. But I actually have no idea if EXO has a right to take legal action, as in I don't know if they'll win or how strict the FTC thing is. So we shall see. SM did come out and release a statement to say that it seems like the recent legal action by the EXO members were due to the members receiving outside offers that perhaps seemed more appealing. I can understand this a lot. In the industry, this happens all the time where someone would get a very appealing offer from another label and that could potentially be offering you more fame, more money, and more everything for literally the same amount of work that you're currently doing. In my personal experience, it's often not a great idea to pursue those endeavors. When someone gets greedy, the universe has a way of punishing them or evening things out. And sometimes they'll end up working twice as hard for the same amount of money. And I'm not saying EXO members are doing this. I have no idea how long the members' contracts actually are, and I have no idea if the members have gotten another secondary offer that's more appealing. So I'm not on either side here. Speaking of labels being accused of being disrespectful, we recently have fans up in arms about V and his recent treatment. If you are unaware, each member of BTS has had really great and successful solo endeavors. Armies noticed that each member was being tweeted out by Big Hit or Hive's Twitter account. They would tweet about Jimin's accomplishments on the top charts, Jungkook's Calvin Klein, obviously, J-Hope's music video before he left, etc. But Armies noticed that V was barely post about and had been in so many things going on like Elle magazine cover, Vogue, Frankation, Fashion Week, and then allegedly they only posted about Ginny's Kitchen. This was very interesting, but you don't know what is happening behind the scenes. That is first of all. There could be a lot of stuff the team is doing for V already that they simply did not tweet out things. The publicists alongside the social media team worked together and it seems like while they didn't tweet out much about V, they were surely getting him into events and magazine covers, which I would say is much more important. We had literally the opposite here where they posted about Jungkook's Calvin Klein campaign, but he didn't have much work to do for a little while. So the team has been busy still promoting the boys, but these people look for reasons to be mad at the label. These labels are run by people, so they will make mistakes and forget things. And also, if you look for a reason to be mad, you will be mad. So I hate when people try to victimize the members and when you defend the label or defend the fact that the members are okay, people then say that you actually hate the specific member because you're encouraging them to be mistreated or not standing up for them. They are treated very well overall. 
They are not some poor kid living in the slums and scrounging around for food. They are literal multimillionaires who will be okay. And I would love it if every other day people could trend about how kids in third world countries are starving and how they're being mistreated. But a lot of these people don't care about that. They think V going into fashion shows, being on covers of magazine and doing TV shows is him being mistreated because the label forgot to make a Twitter post. Big hit respect Taeyang always ends up trending for these sorts of things and thousands of people jump on board without literally thinking about what they're saying and how it infantizes the boys. They're not babies that need protection. They're fine. And if they felt like they were being mistreated, they could literally go talk to someone. We have seen RM Sway votes in the boardroom before on NFTs. So I'm sure every member has that ability. And if they feel something is wrong, I don't think V is sitting there thinking that he is being disrespected or mistreated. I don't think he cares or feels that way at all. Which by the way, if you would like to watch In The Sloop for Education, as well as Ginny's Kitchen with me, we stream and watch the whole series on Patreon. We have a great time laughing and giggling over everything in the comments. And we do have a $1 tier that is open. So I will link everything in the description description and I hope to see you there. What I did think was interesting and what possibly a sign of disrespect was a conversation about footage where it seemed to be V on set. There was leaked footage where it was shot from a distance and people were saying that someone with a blonde hair appeared to be V. Now, if you are not aware, V had recently had an airport appearance where he showed his hair and it was blonde and it was confirmed when he posted a picture on the plane, but it was a dirty blonde. In the video that was leaked, we see a bright blonde. People are claiming that this was V and and I really just don't think so. First of all, if you pause the footage, it simply just does not appear to be V. Also, I just don't think he is done with his solo album yet. To be filming a music video now without an album release date yet, it doesn't quite make sense. There was another rumor that came out where it was believed that BTS will be releasing a new song to celebrate their 10 year anniversary. I can't remember which member, but one of the members talked about a while ago how there's been a lot of stuff in the works and a lot of stuff that was being filmed, but just not yet released. It seems like the boys are trying very hard now to release some of those things. The song that will be released will be on June 9th. It's called Take Two. And the rumor is maybe there's a music video. Maybe not, but armies are getting geared up to treat it as a comeback and stream it hard. Now, then there was quite a bit of rumor that V was filming for that, but it was likely that if there is a music video, this was filmed all together when the boys were all together. That makes the most sense. Then the other is saying that Jenny must have been there with V is just adding nonsense on top of nonsense since as I've already said, it doesn't even seem like it is V in the video. There's been a lot of people trying really hard to debunk the V and Jenny situation and even people claiming that they were cosplayers pretending to be V and Jenny in Paris as well as pretending to be V and Jenny's manager. If you have to lie at such lengths about something, then you need to reevaluate your life. Who cares if V and Jenny are or are not dating? Making up fake narrative just so that V won't get hate or what is the point? I don't understand. But as I said before, I personally don't think they're dating. I think it's a publicity stunt. And of course, that means they wouldn't be together all the time either. Either way, I hope you guys are excited about the new song that is about to drop. The song was leaked and has been floating around online. I can't stop anyone from listening to it, but I urge people to not do that. Let's enjoy it when the song comes out and save it as a surprise. Is isn't it better as a surprise anyway? Imagine the feeling you get listening to it for the first time. Why would you want to spoil that almost Christmas moment feeling when you can just save it? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.